don't mind my red nose, but um, this is pretty exciting because I am at the lookout, well, almost. I um, had to drive up to the Hobbit Hole on Christmas. So it turns out that um, I was able to drive up about four miles. So that means I only have to hike in, what, like a, maybe like three quarters of a mile. So I just made it to the driveway. I am kicking myself for not buying snowshoes. I just really didn't think I was gonna make it up this far. Um, I just ran Roxy back the three quarters of a mile to the uh, truck. Oh, this is what I'm dealing with. Very deep, all the way up. It's so quiet out here, look how beautiful it is. Holy moly, I made it. <laughs> it's really hard. I guess I still am a, a little ways away. <sighs> oh my gosh. <sighs> my phone's about to die, so this is the last. I made it in <sighs> such a good feeling. Everything is beautiful. I have to make a way for winter guests to be able to come up here. It's just too, too, Stunning, not to. Look at all these packages I have for the lookout. Gonna open them up, see what I got. Got my sink, faucet, that's a pump one. Got pillows, got the mattress protectors, got a couple books. These are all the Audubon books I got that were just a few dollars versus $300 for the whole set. These ones are used, but they look in good shape so far. I finally made it to the lookout. I've tried almost every weekend um, in April and May trying to get up here. And um, as of two weeks ago, it was still too snowy to get in, but I made it up today, which is awesome. Isn't it so great? I've got to get this opened up and then I have a whole truck load of supplies to unload, but I think today, very first thing, I'm going to get up on the roof and get the holes patched while well, the weather is good. What the lookout is right now, there's still quite a bit of work to be done. And I have to be home in about a week and a half, so we'll see how much I get done. Uh, these two panels are down because uh, one's missing a pole and one of the hinges has come off. I will end up replacing all of them, but that's for another day. I'm not recording, dang it. Oh, you better help the moose. The moose came back. Because he loves us. We're friendly. I love him. Come back. He's right outside the lookout. It's the I'm first so time glad. I've seen him. So glad I got cold and came upstairs. I really wanted to see the moose and my mom really didn't want to. Not hey, to walk. walk. The strap is probably going to break, but we needed a little bit more distance between the shed and the truck. And the thing seems so flimsy. Oh, there it goes. Look what I just found. I just was kicking stuff around. I am working on the observation desk area and I just spray painted this thermometer. It was brass and now it's black. Oh shoot, I just kicked all of this stuff that I thought was just piled up underneath all these pine needles, but apparently a million ants are living in it. I also gotta say that I feel pretty lucky that I was able to snag this lookout. It is really nice working here. 
have to <laughs> tell everybody what happened. <laughs> I was just using all my weight to pull this up. It's now stuck. But to pull it up, and I don't know why, it just all of a sudden got easy. And I, when I used all my weight, I just went clear down to the ground. <laughs> but I didn't let go of the rope. <laughs> Our board's right there. So the big camping shed that was falling down had this metal roof on it. Um, so now we're cutting all of these panels, um, attaching them to the wing. It makes it a little bit heavier, but I think it'll protect. And they have been up for probably 50 years, so um, they were a little rough. Um, and in order to have this renting in the winter, I wanted to protect it uh, from the snow and rain pretty sure this is what I'll be doing most of the day. So uh, we rebuilt, my mom and I, these uh, wings is what I've been calling them, but these flaps that protect the windows and they also extend out over the deck, um, but they were just raw wood before. Once all the railings are painted, we need to add this hog wire um, like so on all of the railings. I don't love the way it looks, but it'll help keep dogs and stuff from falling off. Got one more load to the dump ready, and um, I also have this much more left to take down of that huge monstrosity.